Hey everybody, my name is Lee, and in this video I would like to show you how to use a really cool feature in the 3D application blender called indirect lighting. With indirect lighting, you can create glowing objects and create the effect of reflective light. So, like for instance, in the real world, when you have a light shining in a room that has white walls, the light reflects off of those walls. The the white spreads the light out. Um, for instance, it's ambient lighting. Um, another example of this is when sun shines through a curtain in your window. It, it, might block some of that light out, but it still spreads some of it out as well. <clears throat> so, there's a lot of things that you can do with indirect lighting. But I'm just going to give you a, an intro on how to use it. You play with some of the settings yourself and get the effect that you want. But, um... Indirect lighting. So, uh, with this, you won't actually need the light source, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this lamp and get that off of there. And for indirect lighting to work, you will need a material. You'll need a you'll need the normal one, just the first material. And I've already created an object here that I'm going to use for the lighting because it's it's just a cool design, something I thought was neat basic but neat. So, what I'm going to do is these inside faces are where I want my light to come from. So I'm going to give that a new material, and I'm going to assign it. And then uh, for indirect lighting to work, you need to turn on the emit. And I'm just going to set this to 3, and it can be whatever value you want, 4, 5, whatever and <clears throat> that will allow the object or well that material to produce light and for indirect, indirect lighting you'll go into the world tab come down here and check indirect lighting and you also need approximate to change the indirect lighting settings. So I'm going to go ahead and render this just how it is. And you'll notice that it is actually producing light. You can tell by the this part being illuminated, but the outside of the sphere is not. Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to add a plane resize it so it's taking up a majority of the well actually more than all of the grid <laughs> and then I'm going to render this again and after rendering it again you can tell that the, the sphere itself is actually producing light and that's what the emit does okay now I'm going to add a couple more cubes, or, well, a couple of cubes, and it doesn't really matter, I mean, I'm just using these as an example, so it's not going to matter where I put them, but, and I'm going to render it again with the cubes here, and you'll be able to see the light reflecting off of the cubes, you'll be able to see it shining onto the cubes from the sphere object in the middle. Okay, so there's that. Now, using the indirect lighting settings, you can actually change how much light bounces, how much it reflects, how many times it reflects. And if you render the image, you can do that.
you can see now that light is bouncing from the the plane to the cubes and from the cubes to the other cubes and <laughs> back to the plane and there's just a lot of bouncing going on but it gives a really nice effect so and if you come to the materials tab once again you'll be able to see that if you change the color of the diffuse in the material that the light that the object produces will actually be what whatever color you pick so if you choose a red color the light that comes from it is red and same for blue or whatever other color you choose but um, you can use that to do some really neat effects for like a spaceship or something like that but it, it gives a gives some really nice effects and it's it's fairly simple to do you can reproduce that in just a few minutes so I I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave a comment in the section below if you want a specific video if you want to hear uh, something about modifiers or anything like that f please feel free to let me know I'll be glad to do it thanks for watching <laughs>